Hello everyone, Railmanox here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share with you guys some theories I have on Hytale. There's basically 10 of them, so let's get into it. Also keep in mind that these theories are not 100% true, but they have pretty solid evidence. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing, it really helps out. But if you do not like my videos, you can always unsubscribe if you want. Let's get into the video. Alright, so the first theory I have is the void creature's previous form. Now basically this means that the three void creatures that we've seen so far, like the void spider, the void dragon, and the void golem, they weren't always like void creatures. If you look at the void spider, you'll see two forms at the bottom right there. The left one looks kind of purple and his fangs are green, but the right one looks kind of blue and his fangs are white. So this basically tells me that the void spider used to be like a non-void creature just thriving in the underground and all that until he got corrupted by some void magic wielder. Same as the story of the void golem and the void dragon. The void dragon is all like, you can see his damaged body, he probably got into a fight with someone and in that fight he just got corrupted, he used to be like a normal fire breathing dragon but then he got corrupted. Also, the Void Golem used to be a guardian of the Temple of Gaia because he's found in the Temple of Gaia, but then he got corrupted and all that. So that's just my theory on the Void creatures and what their previous form was. The next theory I have is Raptor Evolution. As you can see in the Tropical Jungle Creatures concept art, you can see that there is the Raptor over here. Now, if you look closely, you can see that that creature, like on the bottom left of the raptor, it kind of looks like the chicken. Look at that beak. Now if you look at the prehistoric chicken, and then you look at that creature on the bottom left, and then you look at the raptor, it kind of seems like this is like some evolution that we're seeing here. Basically what I'm implying is that the raptor actually evolved from the prehistoric chicken. The prehistoric chicken is the first stage of evolution, and then that, bot and then that raptor chicken, whatever it is, <laughs> is the second stage and the raptor is the final stage. So basically that raptor chicken, whatever, it basically makes it super clear that the prehistoric chicken actually evolved into the raptor. So yeah, that's just a theory. The next theory I have is the different forms of the void eye depending on the environment. We all know that the evil Varen has like minions and these void eyes are basically like spies that just fly around, look for creatures. But if you see in this concept art, there is this void eye creature which we've seen in uh, like uh, a video it just hovers sort of hovers but if you look at the top it kind of looks like this actually like lives in the sea you can see some like gill traces and all that all that type stuff you can see tentacles so this whole form or, or it kind of shows that this is probably like the aquatic form of the void eyes there might be some other forms of the void eye that might be like traveling on land or maybe they just like totally like fly around but basically what this implies is that the void eye doesn't only like hover in the air and all that but it also swims in water and flies at different heights and even like walks on land so yeah that's pretty much just a theory that the void eye has different forms depending on the environment and it's a, and, and and that it's not just a creature that just hovers in the air based on what we've seen in, in the gameplay the next theory i have is kairos's eye color as you know, Kairos is just a character that we'll be seeing in the storyline of Hytale. He basically used to be a like a good soldier. You can see that there's Gaia's symbol on his chest plate, which probably implies that he used to be a like a good soldier and fighting for good, but then he got corrupted and now he fights for Varen, the evil. You can see that by his like purple eyes, and you can even see his like his sword is kind of purple right there. Now his eyes are purple and his sword's also growing purple. Now if you look at the bottom right, you can see that there are gr there's a green eye color and a green sword. So basically what I'm implying here is that there's a relation between uh, the eyes and the sword color that the eye color is the same as the sword color. N now basically Kairos' original eyes could not have been purple because purple resembles the void and his original eyes couldn't have been green because green resembles Varen. But if you look at his sword, there's some traces you can see of blue color and even blue particles. It seems like that 
the like blue part of the swords like like flying away in tiny bits and that this purple magic this purple void is taking over it so this basically makes me think that his eyes might have been blue like when he was the good guy but that's just a theory it's not 100 percent true but the way the sword looks to me and by the fact that his eye color is the same as the sword it basically just makes me think that his eyes might have been blue when he was a good guy but that's just a theory remember that the next theory I have is the theory of Skerrick identification. Now, this is pretty much not, like, that much of a theory, you can say. But in the Skerrick concept art, you can see that there's this life cycle of a Skerrick. You can see that there's this egg and then there's a larva. Now, this makes me think that the Skerricks are focused on, like, the power of their own, uh, like, uh, society. They, like, examine the larva. And then if the larva, if it's like very, very uh, disciplined or something, it becomes a worker. If it's like strong, it has like sharp, sharp claws or something, it becomes a soldier. If it has like a growable shield and is a pretty strong skerrick and a great body it has, then it becomes a shield skerrick. And if he has like growable, like uh, awesome wings, he becomes a flying skerrick. So this is not pretty much of a theory because in the concept art, you can like see it right over there that... That the Skerricks are pretty much focused on the development of their society and they do it by examining the larva and accordingly putting them into their own roles. And uh, this basically tells us how the Skerrick society basically like works and how it is structured and all that. The next theory I have is the Void Spawn's Anti-Gravity Arm and Axe. Now, this you can also, like, uh, just like that Skerrick life cycle thing, you can also see it right there in the concept art that there's an anti-gravity arm. But what I think is that this anti-gravity arm can make for some amazing attacks, like, like, full, the, the arm, like, comes flying towards you, just like Baymax. But instead, it's, like, uh, working against gravity. It's just flying towards you out of, uh, like, like, out of nowhere, using no rocket. It's just flying towards you. But if you look at this axe, if you look closely, if you, it has the same particles as the anti-gravity arm that you see over there. So this makes me think that the Void Spawn will attack with both these things and both these things will probably like come on flying towards us and all that. This basically makes for some like cool and scary attacks. But this is just my theory that most of the Void Spawn's attacks will be focused on like working against gravity, like flying. But that's just my theory. The next theory I have is about the importance of the memory windows. So as you can see in the temple concept art there are memory windows right here there's like different memory windows some are covered in tree branches some are like on water so basically what my theory is that these memory windows are like gonna help us figure out the past and figure out what's going on and what the people of this temple used to worship in the old days there's even a, a symbol of the elements right over there in that memory window hope you can see it maybe uh, i'm wrong or maybe i'm right that these memory windows have a pretty special significance and it'll probably help us in figuring out what is going on in hightail and that the memory window has a, a like an elemental sign or maybe these are just showing the ultra versus uh, r right over there but that's just my theory i mean the next theory i have is the theory of the icons that you see at the bottom now now i'm gonna theorize what these icons mean now some of these are not theories because of course they're pretty clear like that pouch icon it's probably and positively the inventory like I'm positive that that's the inventory and that compass right there is probably the map but that book I kind of like th theorized in one of my previous videos that this might be like a bestiary or maybe some notes that you can write down or maybe these notes are like about the world of Hytale and whatever you discover in the world of Hytale that would be pretty cool in my opinion that maybe a bestiary or maybe like information about whatever we discover or maybe we can write Write, like our own notes that we want to read every once in a while maybe and that banner right there it kind of makes me think that there will like be like factions that you can form with maybe NPCs but you can like form factions with like other players in your game in your world and uh, maybe you can form it with uh, with NPCs but it makes me think that there will be factions you can form factions with like other with like other people in your game and you can like browse through like faction members and you can like, uh, think of what to do with your faction, you can see the power of your faction, maybe that icon, like, tells you everything about, like, what your faction, uh, like, uh, like, has how many members, like, what is its status, and it basically tells everything about the faction, so maybe this button is, like, the, uh, like, the faction button. 
maybe. And this handshake button right over there, maybe it's like the friends list. Like, like the, this just makes me think that maybe it's like your your friends list where you can like check out all your friends or make other friends. Or maybe it can be like some peace treaties wh which you formed with other players. Maybe it's uh, like uh, NPC groups that formed peace treaties with other NPC groups. You can like check them here, he there. But like the most probable thing I can actually think of is that it's like a friends list in which you can check out like your friends. But that's just a theory. We'll check it out when the game releases. My next theory is the theory of the entrance of Zone 4's Tropical Jungle. Now if you look at the lava encounter footage, you can see like right when the magma golem smashes the ground, you can see something green in the upper right corner of the screen. This might be like a piece of greenery from the tropical forests of Zone 4, and maybe you need to fight the magma golem to enter Zone 4. I'm not sure if it actually is the tropical jungle of zone 4 but but it's like a pretty high chance that it, it that it'll probably be the tropical jungle of zone 4 because it makes sense that you have to fight the magma golem to get to the tropical jungle of zone 4 i mean i have like no other idea of what that green thing can be it's probably like some uh, piece of greenery from the tropical jungle of zone 4 but yeah that's the theory my next theory is the relation of the elemental icons and the evil contained symbol. As you know that Varen is basically the evil, the diamond. The diamond is like the symbol of Varen, the symbol of the evil. And then the other symbol tells us that the evil is contained. Now you can see all the uh, now you can see both of these V's, V's around the diamond. They're containing the evil. Now this kind of looks similar to the icons of the elements. Like these elements, they're surrounding the void, just like these two Vs are surrounding the diamond. So basically this might just be that the elements are containing the void. Now this makes me think that the void is like the, the power of Varen, like the void is like the power of Varen. Of course, and these five natural elements surrounding the void are the powers of Gaia. We we know, and it's probably like a high chance that Gaia, the goddess of light, uh, the the goddess of nature, and Varen had a battle. That battle probably happened, and then Gaia gave up all her powers to like entrap Varen. So this is the like uh, depiction of of all of Gaia's powers containing the void. And uh, this also explains why Gaia is like in eternal sleep under the temple. You can see like like she's exhausted or something and all that. So these symbols are probably like Gaia's powers that she gave up to contain the void. So that probably like makes kind of makes sense right now. But but hey, that's just a theory, a high tail theory. And those are all the theories that we'll be talking about in this video. Tell me which theory you agreed with. And thanks for watching.